We looked at uh, calculating rivet size. A little bit complicated, but kind of straightforward once you get into it. You have to consider two things. The thickest piece of metal that you're joining, and the sum of all of the thicknesses of the pieces of metal. So the example I've got, I've made a little drawing for you. I've got three pieces of metal in green here. One is 0.064 inches thick, one is 0.051 inches thick, and one is 0.020 inches thick. I'm going to put a rivet through to hold them all together. I need to have the length of the rivet the same as the sum of all the thicknesses, plus I have to have it sticking out one and a half times the diameter. And to figure out the diameter, how thick this rivet is, I have to take three times the thickest piece. So, what size rivet do I need if I want to join these three pieces? First of all, figure out the diameter. Three times the thickest piece. Of these three pieces, 0.064 inches is the thickest. Three times 0.064 inches is 0.192 inches. The problem is I can't go and get a rivet that's 0.192 inches thick. I have to get the closest 32nd of an inch, because they come in 130 seconds. So to do that, to convert to 130 seconds, I take the 0.192 and divide it by 130 seconds. I want to see how many times 1 32nd of an inch goes into 0.192. When you divide by a fraction, you actually multiply by the bottom number. So I take that 0.192 and multiply by 32. That gives me 6.14 and a little bit. I round that to the closest whole number, which is 6. Therefore, the diameter of the rivet I'm going to use is 6 32nds of an inch. Now I want to find out the length. Well, the length is one and a half times the diameter, so 1.5 times the diameter, plus the thickness of each piece so I can get the rivet long enough to go through them all. I determined I had a 632nd diameter rivet times one and a half, plus the 0.064 piece, the 0.050 piece, so that should be one, plus 0.020 piece. Add all of that up, you get 0.28125 plus 0.135 gives it 0.41625 inches. But again, I can't go and get a rivet that's 0.41625 inches long. Rivets generally come in sixteenths of an inch. So I have to find the closest sixteenth. How many sixteenths do I have? So I'll take that 0.41625, again, I would divide it by one sixteenth, which is the same as multiplying by sixteen. That gives me 6.7, rounded to the closest whole number is seven. So the length of my rivet will be 7 sixteenths of an inch. So, a lot of math here, but it will allow you to find what size, both diameter and length of rivet, you need to get through however many pieces it is you want to join.